25 years ago, the world committed to advancing the rights of all girls and women, no matter who they are or where they live. Over the years, we have made incredible progress with more girls now enrolled and completing school than ever before. In my family, there's not the thing about girls and boys. We are all the same and boys and girls are always equal and we should have the same opportunities. But progress has not always been equal and girls are still left facing the worst forms of exclusion. Child marriages is another challenge that we face in our school. Girls are married off early. They have children and are forced to take care of their families. This means that they drop out of school. If we are going to achieve true inclusion for all, we must ensure that we do not leave anyone behind. Around the world, girls' learning outcomes are improving faster compared to boys. However, new gender gaps are forming around digital literacy and STEM subject choices. Even in the most developed countries, girls are less likely to pursue STEM subjects at school and university. This is a result of having career counselling that is not gender responsive, textbooks that still contain gender stereotypes, and teachers who have not yet been trained to address their own attitudes to gender as well. Gender inequality in teacher recruitment, as well as a lack of women in key leadership positions, add to this by reinforcing stereotypes around gender roles. In many developing countries, millions of schools are not inclusive due to their poor infrastructure and unsafe learning environment. Adding to this, school-related gender-based violence remains a threat that leads to young girls dropping out of school. There is no society in the world that has been able to develop uh, in the achievement of sustainable development goals without their girls being in school. To truly achieve success, we must take an intersectional approach that considers not just gender, but race, ethnicity, disability and poverty, and the ways in which these interact for different populations. With the right laws, policies, curricula and more gender-sensitive teaching, countries can break through. In Malawi, multi-sector partnerships are also helping more young girls return to school after pregnancy. Achieving truly inclusive education for all cannot happen until unequal gender norms in society have been stamped out. Parents and communities must be invited to work with governments on finding solutions and to confront ongoing gender discrimination taking place around all of us every day. Let's act now and make inclusive access to education available to all.